It's a message here getting back to John and Martin. I made a little bit of a recording this morning, a little bit of a voice recording put on Facebook. Never showed their face. I'll tell you the truth, John, I wouldn't blame you not to show your face. With the state you were lifted last Sunday. That's one. You're, you're, all, you're all right, John, I'll split. You're all temple, John. You didn't know you were all laying off a couple of couch, John. You were thrown like a big bowl child, John, on the ground. Now that's one, right? Get to you, John. Get to the fight, the three fights. Me and you fought three times before, John, right? Three times before now, John, you're looking for the fourth fight. John, when are you going to realise in your de in the peanut that's inside your head that I'm a better man than you, John? I'm not much good, but I can say I'm better than you, John. And that's one thing for sure. And I proved it, John. I proved it the first time we ever fought, John. Me and you started fighting inside my inside. Fight went down for an hour or something. I don't know what it went down for. I gave you 16 or 17 stitches, John. In the forehead, the side of the head with a couple of times. Didn't I, John? You can't deny that. You went along, John, you put yourself in a little false claim. And you went around the road start saying that that you went around the road start saying that uh that your head went through the window and that's how John, you made a laugh. You made a laugh yourself, John. The second time we fought, John, no excuses. I had no excuses, you had no excuses. It was a draw fight, fair enough, a draw fight. But these things can happen. You simplified again, John, to have fought last Sunday. You were left like an old big old bow child. You were left like an old, an old drunken man in the ground, John, with a couple of tons. That's what you were left. You didn't know your own name, John, for three days after. And I heard from, I heard from your, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you didn't know your own, a plain as simple as this. You didn't know your own name. People was talking to you, John, inside your house. And all, all you could do, John, was sit in the chair and look up at my bed there, huh? Huh? That's all you could do, John. Marie had to spoon feed you, John, with your grub. I took your senses from you, John. And not only did I take your senses, I took your pride, John. It's sitting right there in my chest. That's you. Now, John, you're saying in all bits of the cards that you're coming to England and you're making me fight. John, nobody has to make me do anything. I'll do what I want to do myself. That's one. You come to England, boys. You're more than welcome to England. And we'll gladly meet you. You know exactly where we are? We'll gladly, gladly meet you. But won't be for a fair fight. Be for a dirty round. You went down the old tape now, boys, and you said that you're coming to England, and if we don't fight, that you're, 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 it's going to go dirty. I'm be Look, I'm down to my two knees, boys, and I swear to my two dead sisters, I'm begging you, boys, to come to England for a dirty row. And you know, by the time I'm ready with two or three, the remainders of you can, will, will be able to weigh you in for the price of your, your ferry tickets home in the local scrapyard. I'll pump that much lead into you. You dirty tramsy. I'm begging you. Now you made allegations, right? You're coming to England for a dirty, and I'm begging you. I, I'm begging you from my heart. Please come. Please come. I'm not able to do jail. I don't want to do jail. But I'll gladly, gladly do jail for you guys. Come to England, and I will gladly do jail for you. Come for that round. But no man, you said what you say. Get you no man. You said, Martin, what, what you say you'll stand by. You said you'll come to England, man. I'm begging of you, come to England. We'll be ready, we'll be sitting ready and waiting for you to land Sunday. Well, please do that. Please. And I'll tell you what, Sunday's here nine days away, boys. Today's only Saturday. We said you're landing tomorrow week. Why, why would you, not us, why would you want to have eight or nine days sleepless nights? Come before that. Come before that, any time before that, ye come, we'll be waiting, and boys, it's either two things. Either we go to jail, and ye go to the morgue, or either we go to the morgue, and ye go to jail. Now we'll see, are ye men or mice, boys? We'll see, are ye, are, are ye the men that you think ye are? We, I'm, I'm begging you in the middle, bless the relics, please come. Please come now. Now man, you said you live it, you live it, you said you live it here between... Martin, you live at James and Peter and John. Was it John? No, just John. James, Peter, back into the James, whoever you said. I don't know. Okay, I wasn't listening. You're all, handic you're all handicapped talk. I wasn't listening. Whoever you said you live back into into Cork and pass by. Why is you not stopping us to come to Cork, boys? Or not only ye. There's no one that stops us coming to Cork. There's only two people that stop us coming to Cork, boys. Is the judges and the guards.
The law is stopping husbands, not you. And I'll tell you what, is when it comes to Brother John on the fight, when he, I, I, don't, I don't think you know this, please. I, a matter of fact, I don't even think your Brother John knows this because he, his brain wasn't with him that day. He hasn't much of a brain, but whatever bit of a brain he has wasn't with him that day. I, I am getting ready, I am getting ready now for a fight that's happening in a match. After that fight, I'll be going back, handing myself up, and we'll be in and out court, boys, and we'll see who'll do what to who. But before that, but before that, if you think, no, not you, we have to do it now, boys. You have to do this now. It's like me saying that I'm going back, uh, 100% after match, I'm going back, hand myself up, and when I'm ready, I'll, I'll, I'll ruin this, I'll tell you, I'll pass my hand side, and I'll, I'll come in and out of it when I want that, and we'll see what you can do about it. That's one. Now, boys, before, before Sunday, before Sunday, but look, I'll tell you what, at 9 o'clock tonight, you can get a ferry in Dublin Port, and you'll be in Hollyhead at 12. You'll be at, you'll be at our doors, you'll be at our doors at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, whatever it is. What's stopping you doing it, boys? I'm begging you, what's stopping you doing? Please come. Please come, and I promise you, and I swear my two dead sisters, we won't go home the one minute you come over. Now, good luck, you, you dirty, you, you look for the tramps, you. And another thing there now, I forgot to mention you, man, and um, you, John. As I said, look, before Sunday, you're more than welcome to come any time before Sunday, any time up till Sunday, or any time after Sunday. Leave no problem, you land all day. As I said, when you land, you won't go home the one men as you can. Or else not, we won't be the one men that we wore after the argument and what we wore before the argument. Now, boys, listen, there's only three or four of us in a yard here in, 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 in Glasgow. There's three or four of you, boys. Listen, it's not as if we're outnumbering me or you're outnumbering her, boys. We're, e we're evenly matched. Listen, let John Keenan sons come to Martin Keenan sons and we'll see who will walk away the better man. Mm -hmm. Now, just keep it between ourselves, boys. No, no need now of who's getting out of, or our other fellas getting involved, or no need of anyone else getting involved. Just keep it between John, John's fellas and my brothers, and we'll see who'll be the better man at the end of it. Until then, boys, adios amigos.